What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's like I never moved from the last spot, but in fact I did, it just wasn't that far. In this video, we are going to be building the mechanism boiler, like I said. Um, in the last one, I watched a tutorial on how to get it done, and um, I'm gonna try and make it big, just, just because. I know I have a, a OP, an OP spade, but I wanted to do it this way. So I'm going to make it a, I guess it's not going to be a 9x9, nine nine. So what's that, 5x5? Five five? I don't I don't know. But uh, I'm going to do it like this, just just so I can get the general idea of where I'm putting everything. Um, I'm actually I'm actually going to use this bit, it's taking too long. The only problem is if I over click, that's like three layers I have to rebuild, but we did a good job. There we go, just like that. So I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And I think it's two layers is fine. Two of that. Uh, this goes on two, three. I'm gonna do another two layer gap. Uh, I watched a video on how to build this and it's like, it's all gone to one, two. I think that should be fine. Two, one, two, and then these link up. I'm pretty sure the uh damn I ruined it. I'm pretty sure the lid has to be solid. Um actually I'm gonna try I'm gonna I'm gonna see if structural casings work, but I'm gonna gonna line these. Bum 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 bum. I said casings, I meant glass. So structural glass it was gonna go at the sides. Uh can I get out? Thank you. Um I think I'm gonna need a valve. So I'll put one there, and then one there. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing the right thing. Maybe I'm not. Only time will tell. But uh, we're going to put it in the structural glass, and then we're going to be back to see if it... W well, no. That's a lie. Actually, now that I have it done, it's like my mind's all over the place, but I promise you, I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, dispenser goes here. I think I only need one level of the dispenser. I'm a double check. It's always a good time to run out of internet. So something's happened with my internet, so I can't double check right now. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's one that I need. I'm not quite confident on that respect, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Ah, oh, sugar. Um. There's a valve there, there's a valve there. I think that's the only places we need a valve, I think. Because in the video, I only remember there being two valves. Something's not right here, is it? There we go. I knew there was a gap, I just couldn't find it. I don't know if there's two. I'm gonna, do you know what? Better safe than sorry, I'm gonna do two. Equal amounts of heating elements as there is pressure dispensing so to be honest in the tutorial that i saw not only is it uh well the day use is there an opening anywhere no they used uh they used one one layer so i don't actually have to be doing all this i'm just gonna do it like this they did one layer of um heating and then one level of of pressure pressure dispenser disperser so i'm gonna do one one as well mm, that's wrong i don't know if size makes a difference but i'm gonna do one one because it's pretty big the one that like this the size on the one that i saw was much smaller but i'm going big for no reason whatsoever uh so maybe i do need to Ow, ow, ow. That actually scared me. First time a zombie has scared me in a while. I completely forgot about this little area that just houses cursed mobs. Where is it? It's on the map, it's here. Completely forgot about that. It gives them like super speed. Including the creepers, except the creepers don't go, don't go black. But it gives them super speed. And um, I wanted to originally 
make it a really good mob grinder. But uh, I never got round to it. And the more I branch out, the less protection I give myself. So stuff like this happens where I just get abused by random mobs. And I just have the top left to fill. Yeah, just like that. It's done. Well, it glistened to show that something happens. I'm going to say it worked. So over here in the video, they set up a little pond area and that's why I had I'm gonna put one of these down that's why I have these these electrical pumps oh, I'm assuming supposed to pump water into the machine don't have any water there that's fine I'm gonna throw one of these in there I'm gonna make an infinite farm didn't mean to do that at all keep forgetting that this is kind of amazing duh, duh, duh. So it actually took just as long uh, and then we're gonna I don't know how these are put down so I have to be careful with yeah so I'm just gonna put a, put a block all around it or I guess around those two uh, and then here hopefully it can work the same yep because in the video I watched they had a wrench. That wrench that they had isn't in this pack. So I don't know if there are other wrenches that do it. I remember having one. I don't know which specific one. It's a thing. But. Yeah. So. Uh, this is two outlets. I'm pretty sure this outlet is for energy. Which is why I have the universal cable. So I'm going to put. Boom. Boom. gonna bring it around here and I'm gonna get some can I just yeah I'm just gonna just gonna okay so that is energy going through it that has water pumping into it so I used a universal cable a basic universal cable for that and then I'm gonna take a mechanical pipe and I think the way this works so it's the pipe is gonna oh I didn't mean to do that. It's going to don't break all of them, boom. It's going to take that into here. Okay. I don't actually know. So that 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 That's technically working. Cause the Water is going in there. I don't know if it's boiling. Boil rate. Oh, it's not boiling. Because it needs energy. Now where do I put the energy in? Can I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna slow brain this and see if I can just throw solar energy right next to it. See what happens, you know? No that was boil rate. I looked over. That's that's not it. Maybe maybe it does it eventually. Okay, that's it. So so far we've we've constructed the boiler. That's 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 part one. Construct the boil. Oh, that's actually that's actually part one. We constructed the boiler. Before I'm gonna tick that off, I'm gonna see if I am in fact doing this correctly. Uh, the temperature is at 300k. I don't know if once this hits at the le the level it's supposed to hit, it's gonna start doing stuff or if I'm missing something I guess I guess we have to heat it um so we pumped water into it we now need to get it heated I don't know what the heat thing is I didn't watch the video for that long we're gonna watch the video and then we're gonna be right back Okay, so there are three things that we need, two of which we already have, and that is the heaters. So I'm going to run to the storage real quick because I need to make at least one of them. Um, it's beautiful. Resistance, 
resistive heater and a fuel heater. You don't have to do both, I don't believe. One uses RF, one doesn't, so I guess the best one to use if you don't have RF available is the one without RF, but we're going to use both. Um, if it can be put just in the glass, we're going to find that out, but essentially the conductor, nope, no it doesn't. Is that the right? Is that the right? Is that not the right cable? Damn. Oh, maybe it is the right cable. Yeah, so the thermal conductor has to go into the um the casing. It can't go into the glass, which kind of seems obvious. So <laughs> somewhat debatable on whether you not we want to should I have done it on the side that had the valve? I don't know. But uh yeah, whether or not you wanted to use wanted to go above the level or dig underneath. I dig, dug underneath, which probably wasn't the best idea. But it's fine, we're gonna make it work. So boom, now we have the resistive um take that. This the resistors heater. I'm making quick use of I'm gonna set up two just so you see. Um Okay, that goes in there. Can I? I'm gonna do it like that. The main reason being is because I need to give it energy. I need to give it RF. So I'm gonna do it like that. So the RF is showing on one side. And then this one, I'm gonna place here. So it's somewhat away. I don't think, I don't have to, but I'm gonna do that. And then, so this one just simply uses charcoal, I think. Charcoal or wood. And if you're like me and you're making this and you have the EMC table, boom, it's just gonna work like that. And something like that. So it's increasing temperature. Oh my days, that scared me. Jesus. Those cursed guys are the worst. Have a bed over here. Slight heart attack done. Um, so the temperature is increasing. So now we want to get these going. And like I said, these take EMC. So I should just have to do what I did over there. Get a solar panel. I wonder, do I have to... Um, can I just sit it next to it? Or do I, I already have a stack of solar panels? Yep, can just set it next to it. That's cool. I don't need any extra cables. But I'm sure if you want to make it look prettier, probably can throw some extra cables in there. But the resisted heat the resistive heater is doing its thing. Um Damn it, I kinda want to make one more of these. I'm gonna quickly destroy that and creative chest it. Uh we wanted to get that back. Um I'm gonna take another one because uh ideally I wanna make sure that we have some to go. We don't have to go down into our storage and build some more. Oh, and it duplicated it with charcoal inside of it, which is actually pretty cool. So uh but yeah, boom. So the boil rate is at the all time high, which is kinda of scary. I don't know if it's gonna burst. I hope it doesn't. And the temperature's at a whole time high. Oh my days. <laughs> what impeccable timing I don't know if it's gonna burst and then there goes a the creeper if this explodes next to me I'm gonna be so mad boom, 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 boom. now I think after this you kind of want to make a release for the steam I'm assuming so so I'm gonna go back to the tutorial watch how to do that I'm gonna be right back so actually no, that was it. As far as the boiler goes, uh, where is our mechanical pipe? If we were to put our mechanical pipe here, boom, boom, uh, as you saw, it f it's filling up with steam. So that is that part of it done. So we can effectively claim the mechanic, the mechanism boiler, sorry, because we have crafted and at least I got it working. So it is producing steam. Um, I guess I can put it in something, put it in a bucket, but whatever.
that's working we have steam now the next thing to do is to construct the mechanism industrial turbine which is a spin-off off of this i believe I don't know if I'm going to do that in this video. I'm not going to do this in this video. I'm going to do it in the next video. So right now, we got the boiler ready, working, ready to go. We are producing steam. In the next episode, we are going to create the turbine. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.